Hey, good morning campers. The day's here that I've been waiting for. See where I'm at? Yep, I'm at the propane shop here in, McK in uh, Crescent City, California. That's Suburban Propane and we're getting the, uh, the bus plumbed in finally. This makes me happy. Nice, beautiful, sunny day for it. And uh, I'll take you guys along, let you see what's going on. Okay guys. We see right there the yellow line. They brought it up through the floor. It's half inch. And it's going to go up to the rafter, across, across this side. Then it's going to come down here and it's going to hook up under here for the water heater. And uh, we haven't cut it yet. And here's the 3 8 line here that's running behind the cabinet. And it's hooking up to the Flame King stove. And uh, that's where we're at right now. They're still working on it. These guys are doing a really good job. I'm very happy and I'm sure glad I didn't try this myself. I'll get back to you guys in a minute. They're doing a great job. They've got the uh, tea in there. They've got it hooked up here to the uh, water heater. And that's a half inch line that runs all the way around there. It goes down and into the floor and down to the tank. And uh, right now we're getting ready to hook the 3 8 inch line in right there. And it's running here and behind the cabinet over to the stove. But this will all get tucked up, up in here, this area. Get it out of the way. This is great. I'll bring you back in a minute. Well, we were almost done. Then uh, we were testing the stove and it had a whole bunch of leaks in it. Um, that Flame King stove, it's uh, they, they put it together really shoddy. It's uh, had no uh, ceiling on any of the, uh, um, no ceiling compound on any of the threads. Every one of them was leaking. Um, if we had have fired that thing up, it would have been that, that whole metal box that was in here that the, uh, the cover goes over, has all the uh, regulator and all the lines. That would have been full of fire. So they pulled it out and they're going to go in there and redo the whole thing inside. Um, resealing all the threads, um, the regulator. Yeah, it's too bad. Why can't they make things that aren't junk, you know? So I'm not highly recommending this Flame King at all. Um, something else too. See all these little uh, flakes here? That's paint. That's paint that's popping off of that, uh, the, 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 um, the grid that the pots and pans sit on, the two grids. Yeah, the, the, the paint's just popping right off of that stuff as we flex it. So, you know, that's no good either. So, um, I can't recommend the Flame King. It's just uh, not quality built and uh, just really, really sad about it. I thought that was a good little stove. We ran the, the, uh, the hot water heater and uh, this thing works perfectly. Um, I no sooner turned it on and I stuck my hand under it and my fingers a little bit red. It was <laughs> really hot. Yeah, so uh, so that, that hot water heater works great. So um, there's the line in there. So they're going to get that fixed up and we're going to put it back in. And um, we'll go from there. Here's the tank and the regulator. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. And uh, the line goes up inside and uh, hooks up through the floor. This uh, hose here and stuff is just testing equipment. And uh, I'm really happy with that. Also, um, we've got an extension here. I can hook a, a propane tank up to the outside of this as a, on the exterior. It hooks right into that valve right there. Yeah, so now we can add extra propane. I carry an extra tank with me. And we'll have extra uh, extra propane that way for extended stays or whatever. So, so far so good. I'm having a really good time here. All but the stove, no problem. But uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Okay, guys, I'm back here at home. And uh, this whole thing was... Uh, like $199 in uh, labor and uh, it was $140 in parts 
So uh, that wasn't too bad. And they took this stove apart for me for free and replaced, they, they spent over an hour on it and didn't even charge me at their uh, $90 an hour rate. So we did okay here. And uh, they were really good to me. That was Suburban Propane in Crescent City. And um, here's the burners that are lit on the stove. And I'll tell you what, this thing puts off an incredible amount of heat. If you cooked in here, this would be hot, even with the vent open. I think I'm going to have to open that window and the other pop-out window on this side over here that I've got buried with the, the bedding. I took all the bedding uh, boards out of it so they could get the line in over there. And um, they've got a couple uh, brackets holding it up there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish that off and put several more on it just, just to make me happy. And um, they did, they didn't have very few, they only had a couple in stock, so I can finish that off. That's not a problem with the other lines over here. And uh, I'm really happy with this install. They did a wonderful job. Comes through the floor right down there next to the drain line. And uh, it goes in the cabinet here, I'll show you. There's the line in the cabinet. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off now. There goes one, and there goes the other. And, if I turn the hot water on, oops, if I turn the pump on, then the hot water, it's hot. Yep, now it's hot. It only took that long. Yeah, plenty of hot water going on here. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn that down a little bit. That's burning my fingers. Don't need it that hot. And there we are. We have propane and hot water heating in here. Cooking with gas. <laughs> um... I can show you out here the rest of it. I have my sink. I'm draining out my uh, under tank, 16 gallon tank right there. Because I've been running a lot of water in it. But the, um, the hose comes out from behind the cabinet right here. And it goes along in here and it goes down to that T50. <clears throat> and I'm going to tuck I'm going to tuck this all up in here with a bracket. They didn't have something to do that. I told them not to worry about it. I would go ahead and take care of it. And uh, yeah, they worked on this thing for four and a half hours and uh, charged me for three. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And it's really clean. Like all that storage room I have in here, they didn't get the line in the way. They got it tucked way up there. very happy. I'm glad I didn't do this. And when they went around to the other side, they checked it for leaks, not only with a spray bottle, but uh, the manometer they used on it. The manometer hooks up to that and it has um, uh, like these two tubes with, with, uh, with a water table in them. And uh, it tells whether or not any leakage happens by the way the water table moves, because it's hooked in line with with the propane and it actually worked rather well um, I did find out something that yellow knob up there is my fill valve and he's building me a custom 45 so I can get this filled without moving the tank around so I'm gonna end up with a custom uh, piece that goes up there so we can get the uh, filling uh, the end of the uh, the propane wand in there to fill it and it's got a full tank now because they filled it through uh, through the valve right there, the blue valve right there. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> so it goes to that regulator, then it goes up inside there with a with a flex line over over it up to here where it goes through the floor. So 
I think they did a wonderful job and I'm very very happy with it and I would recommend them to anybody and like I said they fixed my stove for free all those aluminum pieces that were in there that were leaking they replaced them with brass <clears throat> I'm sorry I just couldn't be more pleased everything is working great and and we're in good shape now and I can go ahead and finish up my <clears throat> my polishing and waxing and I did get some stuff today I got my miracle wax and I haven't tried it yet but I'm going to and I'm going to see if that go, goes ahead and uh, polishes up this gel coat and because uh, it's it's pretty dull and I'll hit that with a, uh, a light buffing then I'll go over it with this with a golden pad on it and this has a really strong cleaner in it and a good carnauba wax I believe it is and uh, it doesn't have any uh, real abrasiveness to it see right here it says abrasive index it shows a medium so it doesn't have any heavy abrasives but do not use this on the clear coat this is only good for like single stage paints so it has a little bit of cleaning power and some and some really good I believe it's carnauba wax that is in it blend of carnauba and other fine imported waxes yeah so this is what I'm going to try and we're going to get this bus all polished up really nice and after that I have some uh, baseboards to put in and uh, oh I'll show you something else I did oh I got stuff in the way I'm sorry but um get move my cutting board I'll move a couple things so you can get, kind of get an idea but you can see the piece of wood I put up there see it right there that goes almost full length it's got a nice little rounded end on the other end and that hides that roller roller a little bit so uh, that will be uh, real good for hiding those two shades and um, bathrooms all been done and I need to put the baseboards in there put a couple items in it and geez I'm getting close to being done in here real close I got to put the place back together get it all cleaned up get the carpets down and uh, we're gonna do a final walkthrough so uh, I think this is probably going to end this video and I uh, thank you guys for coming along and I hope we learned a little something today I sure did okay I'll talk to you later bye bye hey guys this here is Ridley he showed up when uh, when the other little kitty showed up at the same time we were out there looking for him and we found him in the back building and uh, he's a three-year-old male he's been neutered and he's just the sweetest cat in the world um, this guy he was also I think he was dropped at the same time as with with Bunny when when she was dropped and this guy took a really big liking to my son James and uh, sleeps on his bed and never leaves his side follows him around like a dog yeah, this 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 kitty has no fleas at all. We went took him into the vet too and had him checked and he was in perfect shape. Perfect, huh, Ridley? Yeah, he's a good boy. What a nice, well mannered cat. He doesn't get up on furniture, he doesn't scratch on things too much. Yeah, he's just a good boy. And he's a he's a real lovable guy too. Aren't you, Ridley? Yeah, you're a good boy. And we got a, a second addition to the family, so... Yeah, I thought maybe you'd like to see him. You're a good boy. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later.